think Hinduism is universal. I think Hinduism is not just Indian. There you are. So in that case, I could do no better than quote Shashi himself. He says Hinduism has no one founder, That's no right. one prophet, no one holy book, no, no one, one god, no one way of praying. He actually believes in Hindu exceptionalism. I am arguing his point of view. I am simply saying you have to defend. You have to defend Hinduism. You can call. You can quote Karl Popper if you're not okay with Savarkar. I can quote Karl Popper, Open Society and its enemies, saying that sometimes you have to stop tolerating the intolerant. We are. Let's let's stop being abstract. There are people who are ostensibly being oppressed, going out on the street saying, uh, "Sir Tan Sir if you disrespect the Prophet. And then we have comparisons of Hindu India with Nazi Germany. I don't remember Jews going out on the street saying they will go and behead Gentiles. <laughs> so let us be very clear that we, this is nothing but gaslighting people who are actually being actually being scared, and not just Hindus, liberal Muslims, reformist Muslims, Muslims who came out and said, let's be for free speech, either during the Charlie Hebdo case or during the Nupur Sharma case, they were beaten by Muslims, and both BJP and non-BJP governments let them go and rot in jail, or they had to go underground. It is a collective failure. I'm not arguing on behalf of a party. 